Tracy Chapman Singer-songwriter Tracy Chapman received wide fame in the late 1980s and 90s with songs like Give Me One Reason and Fast Car. Who is Tracy Chapman? Four-time Grammy winner Tracy Chapman began writing music and performing in Boston, where she recorded songs at the WMFO radio station. She caught her big break in 1986, when a friend's father introduced her to a manager at Elektra Records. Her self-titled album released in 1988. The album's most popular single, Fast Car, landed at number 5 on the UK charts and number 6 on the US charts. Several years later, Chapman released New Beginning, another widely acclaimed album, which was carried by the hit song, Give Me One Reason. Although that 1995 success has yet to be matched, Chapman stays busy as an activist, speaking and performing on behalf of various organizations. Early Life Tracy Chapman was born in Cleveland on March 30, 1964. At a young age, she moved with her family to Connecticut. While attending Tufts University in Massachusetts, studying anthropology and African studies, Chapman began writing music and performing in Boston and recorded songs at the local WMFO radio station. Musical Career, Songs and Albums Chapman caught her big break in 1986 when a friend's father introduced her to a manager at Elektra Records, with whom she recorded her first self-titled album that was released in 1988. Tracy Chapman rose to number one in both the United States and the United Kingdom, and its popular single, Fast Car, landed at number five on the UK charts and number six on the US charts. That same year, Chapman performed at Nelson Mandela's 70th birthday tribute concert, which was held in Great Britain. The album's second single, Talkin' About a Revolution, also met with wide acclaim and earned rank on Billboard's music charts. The musician received several honors following the release of Tracy Chapman, including three Grammy Awards in 1989. She won Best. New Artist, Best Female Pop Vocal Performance for Fast Car and Best Contemporary Folk Recording. Becoming a three-time Grammy winner is quite an accomplishment for any musician's first project, but Chapman didn't waste any time before working on her next one. Between performing songs from her Grammy Award-winning album, she continued to write and make rounds back to the studio to record Crossroads, 1989, which she also co-produced. Chapman dedicated one song on the album, Freedom Now, to Mandela. Although the album didn't receive the same acclaim as her first, it did find a place on the Billboard 200, as well as other industry charts. The singer-songwriter's musical success again slightly dipped in 1992, with the release of Matters of the Heart, an album that peaked at no. 53 on the Billboard 200 and failed to receive any real international fame. Matters of the Heart included less memorable songs than Chapman's previous projects, and fans were put off by her straying from folk and blues to a more upbeat, alternative rock sound. Three years later, the tune of things changed upon the release of Chapman's fourth studio album. As the album's title suggests, New Beginning, 1995, proved to be a step back into the limelight for the musician, selling nearly 5 million copies in the United States alone. The album far exceeded the appeal of Chapman's previous projects, thanks to the widely popular single, Give Me One Reason, as well as such catchy, soulful tunes as Smoke and Ashes, and the album's title track, New Beginning. Chapman received her fourth Grammy Award in 1997, this time for Best Rock Song, Give Me One Reason, as well as several Grammy nominations and other music awards. Chapman's 1995 success has yet to be matched. Since New Beginning's release, the musician has released a handful of albums, including Telling Stories, 2000, and Our Bright Future, 2008, and toured through 2009. In recent years, however, Chapman has largely stayed out of the spotlight. 2023 CMA Award for Fast Car 
Chapman experienced a resurgence of interest and popularity when country musician Luke Combs released a cover version of Fast Car in April 2023. Combs' version of the song became a huge hit, reaching number 3 on the Billboard Hot 100 and receiving more than 65 million streams on Spotify in less than two months. Chapman became the first black woman with a sole songwriting credit on a number one country hit as a result of the cover. Chapman said of Combs' version of the song, I never expected to find myself on the country charts, but I'm honored to be there. I'm happy for Luke and his success and grateful that new fans have found and embraced Fast Car. In November 2023, more than 35 years after the original song's release, Fast Car earned Chapman a CMA Award for Song of the Year, as Combs won for Single of the Year. I want to thank Tracy Chapman for writing one of the greatest songs of all time, Combs said in his acceptance speech. It's the first favorite song I ever had from the time I was four years old. Chapman didn't attend the awards show but said in a statement, it's truly an honor for my song to be recognized 35 years after its debut. Social Activist Outside of her musical career, Chapman has long worked as an activist, speaking and performing on behalf of several nonprofit organizations, including the San Francisco AIDS Foundation and Circle of Life, no longer active. During a 2003 event to benefit Circle of Life, Chapman performed a memorable duet with Bonnie Raitt of the John Prine song Angel from Montgomery.